Hello bee people, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk About Bees. On today's episode we're going to be talking about uh, the bee pollen's health benefits. Uh, actually it's going to be a video series because I've been getting a lot of questions about the health benefits of bee pollen. I already made a video on the, that I posted on our Facebook page um, and uh, I want to invite you, if you haven't joined our community on the, on the Specialized Bee Products uh, Facebook page, to join. So the link is going to be below so you can easily uh, join the community. So I posted a video on uh, our Facebook page. Uh, it was an introductory video about the health benefits of bee pollen. Uh, so I'm going to make just a, a short summary on this video, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so on our Facebook video uh, I was discussing uh, the fact that the bee pollen uh, is not a miracle food is uh, what uh, um, can be called a whole food and it is a whole food because uh, it has um, many nutrients that you need to consume on a regular basis it's not a food that has just one thing it has many things so the many things that it has is uh, for example proteins and uh, when you assess the quality of a protein, you have to assess the amount and the different types of amino acids that are composing uh, that protein. Um, it happens that in nature there are 20 amino acids, 10 of those are essential amino acids and the other 10 are non-essential. What that means is that the essential amino acids are amino acids that you have to consume on your diet because the body can't synthesize them. So, uh, on the other hand, the non-essential amino acids, it doesn't matter much if you consume them, consume them or not on your diet because the, the body is able, able to uh, produce uh, these amino acids. So bee pollen uh, has all 20 amino acids and uh, the essential amino acids are in good amounts on bee pollen. So from just the protein perspective, bee pollen is uh, very interesting to be consumed. Uh, one of the other macronutrients is uh, fats. And uh, one uh, very uh, interesting fat that uh, bee pollen has is omega-3 uh, fatty acids, which is alpha uh, linolenic acid. So um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have heard uh, that it's very important to consume omega 3s. Um, the carbohydrates that the pollen has uh, is the ones that you can find on honey, which is glucose and uh, fructose. The other nutrients that, uh, which would be the micronutrients that the, the bee pollen has, are some minerals. And minerals uh, are essential to uh, the human body because uh, you can't, uh, or the body can't make them, so you have to consume them. And uh, bee pollen has a very interesting profile of these uh, minerals. I'm gonna make a list uh, down here somewhere. Uh, so you can see which minerals the bee pollen has. And minerals, you have to consume them because they have uh, a lot of metabolic um, function on the body. So um, we have now proteins, good fatty acids, um, carbohydrates and minerals. One other, uh, it's actually a family of compounds that bee pollen has and it shares with propolis is a family of chemicals called uh, phenolic compounds and within that group of chemicals uh, there's a chemical called uh, sorry a group of chemicals called flavonoids and uh, these flavonoids have uh, 
essentially uh, antibacterial and antioxidant activities. And uh, these compounds are the ones that are responsible um, the, uh, they are actually called bioactive compounds because first the body can't make them but uh, you don't actually need them but if you consume them uh, they have interesting properties especially on the uh, disease prevention side so on our next video we're gonna go deeper on the flavonoids uh, aspect and uh, the um, diseases that uh, these uh, chemicals can uh, can help to prevent some uh, some diseases so stay tuned for the next video hey guys so just to make a quick summary of uh, this episode bee pollen is a whole food because it has many nutrients of very good quality and it has some compounds that if you consume them on a regular basis are capable of preve preventing some diseases so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video if you do uh, make sure to click the thumbs up and click the notification bell as well so you won't miss on any future videos and if you haven't subscribed uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you on the next video